Here we go. Check, 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 check. All right, folks. All right, it says we're live. I'm not seeing it. Can you guys see me? I don't know. It's not coming up yet. Here we go. There it is. Took a minute. Boop. Oh, hold on. It is 8.50. It's time to learn a new movement. This is the tricky part right here. All right. All right. Let's waste no time. Our audio is good. <clears throat> hey, Fit Fam. Whoa. That's what we're going to be working on today in our new movement class. Oh, not that fast. All right. So this is the bend and twist, the forbidden no-no of exercise. But let me tell you why. Most of the time during day to life when we go, I was doing it when I was turning on the lights. I'm going to bend and twist. I mean, yeah, hypothetically, I would always square my feet and get perfect squat posture and do that. <laughs> Not really the case, okay? This comes from my study of occupational therapy from last night. Um, your daily life, daily tasks, we want to work on things that you do during the day. and You guys bend and twist a lot. Uh, so, keys to success with bending and twisting. Number one, gentle knee bend, okay? Rarely, though, do I just see people reach with straight legs, but I do see people reach like this. Oh, my God, right? So, I want to have my knees gently bent. That's step one. Okay. Step two is we need to work on a rotation. Now in core strength, we'll isolate the core. When we're bending and twisting, we're going to get this full body rotation. So what you can do to practice with me, hands on the hips, you're going to just twist. Okay. Twist. And you'll see my left knee is coming forward. My right knee is going back. My whole body is twisting. Okay. At the same time, as I'm twisting, right, I'm going to be reaching down reaching down. Good. Now, since we're practicing, what I want you to feel is this muscle right here, your oblique, as you're twisting, you're contracting here. How do I know I'm contracting? Look, I'm poking it with my hands. I'm feeling it flex as I go down. Wow. Okay. Feeling it flex as I go down. And as I go down, keep it flexed, keep it flexed, keep it flexed. Boom, I'm here. Now, if you're experiencing tightness through the side of your back, like I am right now, that is a flexibility issue. And since we have stiff, let's just call them sides for right now, those bending and twisting, oh, my God, after a while, you're going to go down for one. So it's very important that we stretch out our sides. You guys have seen those. Let me show you. Um, this is actually Stretch Sunday. This is last week. So standing side bend here, hands in the pocket. This is also from core strength. I'm dipping to the side, elongating here. Here's my pelvis. Here's my ribs. Lots of space. Lots of space. Lots of space, okay? Always coming back up slow. Other side, lots of space, lots of space, lots of space. Coming up nice and slow, okay? So now, gently bend the knees as I reach down. Ah, I don't feel as much stiffness in my sides, okay? So in order to perform the bend and twist correctly, number one, gently bend the knees. Number two, contract the side that you're going down with. And number three, stretch out your sides okay funny part is stretch out the sides get a little bit longer waist huh get a little bit thinner so that is the standing and twist it's going to happen maybe today when you're walking around you might check in hey standing twist okay so that's today's new movement i'll see you next time all right Ooh, that was only three minutes we got bonus all right let me show you guys bonus one this is also ot so here we are daily life right i'm walking around i'm also going to bend and reach this way. This is like, uh, let's say I'm reaching up for something, right? Like this, uh, cupboards, uh, different things up in the ceiling, okay? So it's, it's, it's similar in the sense that my knees are gently bent and I'm twisting, except now I'm going to be elevating with one side of my rib cage, here and here. So now the neuromuscular demand and the muscular demand is on my shoulders, whereas bending and twisting is on my back. So when I'm here and I'm reaching up, Right? My shoulder has to come up. My neck needs to stay relaxed. 
So you gotta think about that one. The trick is, maybe we'll do that one next week, is I'm here, I'm standing, and as I reach, I want my ribs away from my hips, and as my shoulder comes up, I want my shoulders away from my ears. <laughs> you guys have seen it, right? So I'm lifting, boom, okay? But essentially in an application, I was quite literally reading about this last night, is you can't just learn strength training exercises and expect it to translate into your daily life. You have to actually practice the movement that you're doing during the day Practice reaching with good form. Practice bending up with good form. That's the only way you're going to actually build the skill set. Okay? That's called occupational therapy. The ends are the means. Or the means are the ends. All right. Anyways, ah, shake it out. Let's do our, this word to our prep lecture. You ready? And three, two, and. Hey, everyone. Coach Russo here. This is You'll Be Fit Forever Senior Fitness Classes. Today, weight management for seniors. Okay? Harvard Health. Just published this, that high BMI, so unhealthy body weight, decreases your chance of successful aging, which we'll define in a second, by 80%. That is a gigantic number, and I've done research, 80% is astronomical. Okay, so successful aging, they essentially define as slow or completely reversed effects of cognitive decline, physical discomfort, internal wellness, heart-related incidents, okay? So you want your brain to last, you want to have low levels of pain with good joints, and you don't want your insides to rot. <laughs> that's successful aging. Sounds like a successful life. But that's why we're talking about weight management. It is super, super, super important, okay? And the other study they talked about is as you age, and this, is, this just sucks, but it's true, your metabolism slows. All these different things happen to your body. I don't tell you guys that. Essentially, though, you're going to be losing muscle and gaining fat. However, it doesn't have to be like that. If you follow a consistent meal plan and exercise, those can be either completely reversed, stopped, or they can slow down dramatically. So you can successfully age, but the trick is consistent meal plan and exercise plan. So for weight management for seniors, in this video, I'm not going to be focused on the exercise. You guys, there's bazillions of classes. We even have the class catalog now. We'll be talking about weight management, writing your own meal plan, Okay. This is coming straight from our course. I've renamed it. It's not weight loss. Three steps for a healthy body weight, okay? We want healthy body weight. We don't need to be ripped. We don't need to be super skinny, right? We want healthy body weight, okay? So step one, and you guys can go right to it. Step one, schedule your meals, right? And you guys will see that more in depth. Seven to eight is breakfast. 12 to one is lunch. I get one snack. That's from three to four. Dinner is at seven to eight, okay? It doesn't mean your meal is an hour long. It means in that window you're going to be eating. Okay. That's going to help you control your calories. You're not eating in between, right? You're not overindulging. You're not going back for snacks at night. You have a nice schedule. Okay. Step two, the ideal meal. Each one of your meals in your schedule, I'm pointing over here because <laughs> I'm going to edit in the, in the graphics, but step two, right? Ideal meal, every meal you have, ideally protein, carbohydrates, fats, and vegetables. I include miscellaneous with your drinks. Okay. When you eat ideal meals, right, you're making sure you have diversified nutrients, meaning there's lots of different kinds of foods, balanced, what we call macronutrients, protein, fats, and carbs. I'm doing this circle, balance. <laughs> but also it, it makes sure that you're getting the correct amount of nutrients, right? You're not overeating on carbs. You're not over under eating on protein, very common things. All right, so you schedule meals, you eat the ideal plate, and then the last step for weight management, making it a habit. Okay. Too many crash diets, too many just absolute shenanigans that are just way too hard to implement or way too scientific or way too strategic. Nah, you're not going to make those things a habit, folks. You're not going to spend four hours a week meal prepping. What we're going to do is we're going to consistently pursue our schedule and our ideal meals. And we're going to learn those and learn those. And we can make modifications based on your lifestyle, your food choices, your preferences. Okay. Custom. You're going to write it. You're going to do it. So it's good for you. Not for me. Not for some crazy scientist, good for you. And then you'll make it a habit. It takes about three weeks. After three weeks, if you follow it consistently, you will see your body change. You do it for a few months, everyone else is going to see it too. You're going to have a very, 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 very powerful transformation. If you do it for even longer than that, you can imagine. It could be life-changing, honestly. I've seen amazing things happen. I've seen, amazing, I've seen people change their life just using meal schedules. Because they're like, wow, I didn't realize how much I was eating in between. Okay? So you want to successfully age. Three steps. Schedule your meal. Well, first step is get a healthy body weight. <laughs> the idea is to get a healthy body weight. First step, schedule your meals. Second step, ideal meal. Third step, 
making it a habit, okay? This is going to be in a full course. This is coming out probably on April 20th. That's my goal to launch it. So you guys can pick that up, go through it all. You're going to have worksheets, video tutorials, guides, walkthroughs, everything you possibly want to set yourself up and successfully age, okay? So hope you guys enjoyed that video. I'm Coach Russo. I'll see you next time. Peace. All right, YouTube fam. Let's go. I got to restart the camera. Ah, oh, life. You guys ready? Get your water. But you're going to need a chair and dumbbells. I'm going to announce that in, in the... Oh, no, I just did it again. Hold on. <sighs> Woo. All right, hold on. Let me fix that up. All right, you guys ready? You got your chair? I'm going to bring my dumbbells right over. And then I got to do some covert ops here. All right, we're good. All right, I'm going to start in the chair, so go ahead and have a seat. Here we go. And three, two, one, and hey, Fit Fam, Coach Ruzzo here. Welcome to strength exercises for seniors, chair workout. Everything's going to be done in the chair. If you have dumbbells, grab them. You don't necessarily need dumbbells, but I do recommend them, okay? So with that, if you need to get the equipment, pause here. If not, let's go ahead and start, okay? We're not going to do what everyone does. We're not doing marches today, okay? What we're going to do instead, posture check. Here, roll your hips forward. Stomach engaged. Shoulders up, back, down. My hands are on my knees for right now. And last piece, once my shoulders go up and down, is I'm going to take my sternum right here and lift it, lift it gently, okay? Let's review that again. This is the posture check. I'm coming in the macho from the side, okay? Let's all do it together. <laughs> right? Roll your stomach forward. Roll your hips forward. Stomach engaged. Hands on the knees. So let's come up with the shoulders, back, and down. And then we're going to lift our sternum up. Nice, tall, seated position. I want us in this position, essentially, all workout. You do that, that's a back workout, okay? But first step, we're going to work on isometric, okay? We're going to be taking our shoulders, keep your hands on your knees, and you're going to be pulling them back, 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 back. Squeeze five seconds and release. You shouldn't feel in your neck. You feel in your neck, you're going up. Don't go up, okay? Inhale, exhale, pull the shoulder blades back, 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 and hold for five seconds, squeezing as hard as you can. And release. Squeeze harder, I'm telling you. If you feel your neck, same thing. Shoulders down. Here we go. Posture in. Stomach in. Inhale. Exhale, pulling shoulder blades back, back, back. Squeeze. Squeeze. And release. Okay, now I'm going to change the arm position. My hands are going to be coming up this way. You're going to keep your hands straight out. Spear fingers. Okay? From here, we're going to reverse it. I'm going to push my hands away from me. Push my hands away. Notice I didn't, I didn't slouch, right? I'm pushing my shoulders forward, protracting the scapula, okay? Now from here, I'm going to inhale. When I exhale, I'm going to slowly pull my shoulder blades back, and look what happens to my hands. Boom, hold, and release. Do not put your hands down. This is part of the workout. It's way harder than you think. Now, most common mistake people do is they bend their elbows. Do not bend your elbows. So push your hands forward, stomach in, nice tall posture. Spear fingers, inhale, exhale, pull the shoulder blades back, pull the shoulder blades back, pull the shoulder blades back, all the way back. Now squeeze for five seconds. And coming forward, do not put your hands down. This is part of the workout. I felt that one in my neck. You know what my problem was? Shoulders too high. Okay. Reaching forward, suck the stomach in, hold. Here we go. Inhale, exhale, pull the arms back, pull the arms back. Pull the arms back. Squeeze your shoulder blades together. Hold. Squeeze harder. And relax. If you didn't feel that in your shoulders, your rotator cuffs, woo, you got amazing shoulders. The whole point, folks, rotator cuffs respond better to endurance, keeping our hands up. Okay? Now, we're going to do seated cobra. Very fun. So I'm going to turn the chair around again. So hands at your sides. Posture check yourself. Hip, stomach, shoulders, chest. Okay? Hands are straight at the sides. Okay? I'll bring my feet in. My palms are facing forward. What we're going to do is I'm going to squeeze my shoulder blades together. Now, the difference between this and the posture check, my hands, I'm going to drive my hands back as well, locking out the back of my arms. Okay? Hold and release. Okay? So you're getting this back with the arms as well. 
Don't move your hands first. That is a mistake, okay? Posture, stomach in, inhale. Exhale, pull the shoulder blades back, lock the arms out and hold five seconds. Everyone squeeze your arms harder and release. How do you relax your neck? Relax your jaw, all right? Relax your eyes. Some people do with eyes closed, okay? Inhale, exhale, shoulder blades first, then the arms hold, 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 and release. Let's do one more good one. Flex so hard you cramp, okay? <laughs> Stomach in, ribs up, inhale. Exhale, shoulder blades back, straight arms, lock them out, hold, 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 and release. Good, literally shake the arms out, shake the hands out. Do, 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 do. Good, you guys can feel that one. All right, next one is a stretch. All classes include stretching. If you haven't noticed, those are stretches too. But we're gonna come in here, this is the shoulder horn. <laughs> it's a very weird uh, contraption to hold your elbows like this. Now, most people in this position, they already start to, right? If this kills your upper back, just bring your hands down a little bit, right? But ideally, we can get our right elbow straight across. So we're going to inhale. Exhale, we're coming up into cactus. Okay, this is cactus. I look like a cactus. Relaxing down, stretching. Okay, bring the hands down. Okay, bring the hands up. Bring the hands down. Good, bring the hands up and down. And up and down, okay? Now we're working our rotator cuffs. My chest is super relaxed. My neck is super relaxed. And if you're more advanced, you can speed it up. You guys ever play baseball? I did. Sucked. <laughs> this is like throwing a baseball. Relax, hold. Good. Arms are on fire. Yours are too. Shake it out and release. Good. All right, let's keep moving here, folks. Now I'm going to posture up. I want your feet outside, well, just a little wider. Essentially, I'm thinking like two, two stride lengths apart. And what that allows me to do is that it's going to allow me to lean forward, okay? I'm going to turn to the side so you guys can see this. Now, you'd be surprised. Some of you are probably more flexible than me in this way. So that means you can go a little lower. But I'm here. Yes, you could be flex, more flexible than me. It is possible. Um, stomach in. See all the time, right? Roll my hips forward. Stomach in. I want your hands... Right here on your knees for the first set. And we're going to add. So I'm going to inhale, exhale, tighten the stomach. I'm going to lean forward, keeping my back straight, keeping my back straight. Now, if I only get to here and my back is straight, and if I want to go lower, I start to round, don't go any lower. Okay? I'm going to drop my belly button more. If you can, keep your back straight. How do you tell? Well, you can pretty much feel it, right? And then back up. It's called the seated good morning. Here we go. Inhale. Nice tall posture, stomach in. Imagine your belly button dropping forward, right? Here, forward, forward. Drop it as much as you can. Ooh, I feel it in my hips. That's a good sign. Hold and back up. Make sure when you're coming back up, you're not rolling. This is not the Pilates roll, okay? It's not the closing. All right, so let's, now we're doing, folks, we're going to add a different element of the hands. So we're going to come with our hands. It's much like a ski jumper, right? Call a seated ski jumper. Palms forward, shoulder blades back. Lock the arms out, gentle squeeze. Inhale, exhale, roll the belly button, roll the hips forward, chest, 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 hold. Woo! Relax your neck, rib cage up. Everyone breathe in. Exhale, come back up. That's a good one. <laughs> I know. I'll make it a little harder for you guys, folks, because that's what we need. Palms forward, arms back. Inhale, exhale, dive into the pool. No, not dive into the pool. Lean forward. Hold. Now, everyone, inhale, exhale. Don't come up. Squeeze your abs. Drop three inches lower. Woo. Relax your neck. Coming back up. And release. <sighs> Woo. Okay, good job. All right, go ahead. Grab your dumbbells. If you don't have dumbbells, don't worry. You don't need them. It just helps. We're going to be working what's called an upright row, okay? Now, what you want to do is you want to grab your dumbbells, okay? I'm going to lean forward slightly, okay? I don't want you doing this move straight up. That's horrible, okay? Unless you want to play football. And leaning forward, senior league, I'm down. Okay, leaning forward gently. See how my weights are kind of, they're below my hamstrings? That will just depend on who you are. When I row, I want to imagine my elbows going back and down. Mistake, look, they're not coming up. They're not going that far. They're coming back and down. So my torso is essentially upright, and I'm coming up 
and down. Let me visualize this for you guys. So as I'm pulling up, they're coming right to my hips and down. I, I fundamentally can't go higher from here because of my shoulder joint. Like I literally can't go. That's where you want to be. Let's just do about a bazillion reps. Okay. Now the more advanced practitioners. Nah, this is for everyone. Squeeze your shoulder blades, right? Initiate the movement by squeezing your shoulder blades. And squeeze. And squeeze. And squeeze. Oh, yeah. Good. Okay. Now, let's get crazy. You ready? Everyone hold it from here. Straighten your arms out and bend. And out and bend. This is a kickback. And out and bend. And out and bend. Lean forward. Out and bend. And out and bend. And out and bend. And out and bend and relax. <laughs> Woo -hoo -hoo, that was good. Okay, take a breather. Right, I'm going to turn the chair so you guys can see me. Now, that's one of those exercises that they don't teach seniors because they don't think you guys are athletes, but I do. So I don't care. We're going to do it. All right. This, my friends. This is called a seated clean, okay? Now, if you couldn't do cactus very well, do not just do body weight, okay? But essentially it looks like this. I'm be leaning forward, pulling dumbbells up. Leaning forward, pulling. Body weights, you know what? Everyone just try a few body weight, okay? But look, don't slouch. Right here, come up. That's the Yoshi noise from Mario, if anyone knows. <laughs> okay, coming up and down, all right? Now, what you do is you grab your dumbbells. Notice I'm rocking, right? I don't know if you guys can see that well. Right? Okay. So here and up. And here and up. You're like, Coach, you're not going as high. Well, I don't want to rip my rotator cuffs off. You can. Like when I do this, I'll go all the way up. But it's right here. Boom. And down. Boom. Use your shoulder. Guess what my shoulder blades are doing? Yeah, you guessed it. And back. And down. And back. Well, you think just because we're in a chair, it's going to be easy? Come on. That's why I dislike chair workouts, right? They're not easy. Chair is hard. Arms are on fire. My back's on fire. Let's go. And up. How many reps? About a million. There's no need to count, folks. Just get them right. Get perfect form every time. If you feel it in your neck, your lower back, just hold for a minute. If not, keep working. There's no need to stop. There's no need to count the reps. Good. Last two, last two, last two, last two. Did I just? <laughs> and relax. Good. Just laughing at myself. Ah, breathe. All right, believe it or not, we are almost, almost done. <laughs> okay, so we've done a lot of different things, okay? This one, we're going to work in the shoulder joint in a new way, and it's really healthy for your back because when we're seated, you can use dumbbells. I'm going to demonstrate with dumbbells, but you don't necessarily need it, okay? So I want my arms hanging at my sides, right? So I'm here. Arms are relaxed. What I'm going to do is I'm going to take these dumbbells. I'm going to turn them until the back of my hands are facing forwards, most people start to slouch as they turn their arms. Don't. Lift even higher as you turn. Okay? This is called internal rotation of the shoulder joint. Very, very powerful. Now I'm going to turn the other way, right, to open position and then slightly past. And if you're really flexible, you can get the back of your hands to face. That's kind of confusing. I guess the back of your hands is facing forward both times. Mysteries. Okay? Twist. And twist. And twist. And twist. Oh, man. You guys feel that one, huh? Just keep your nice, tall posture, right? A huge part of this back workout is just posture. Call this one posture builder. Okay. Good. And back. And all the way through. And back. And now what we're going to do is we're going to bring our dumbbells down and recover. Shake it out. Breathe in. And exhale. Okay, let's go ahead and do some stretches from here. I'm going to bring my hands out to the sides, right? Take my thumbs, face behind you. Inhale. Exhale. Pull your thumbs back, squeezing your shoulder blades together, opening as wide as you can. Keep your thumbs facing back. I'm hitting the wall. Good. Drop your arms. Inhale. Arms come all the way up. Shoulders to the ears. Reaching, 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 reaching. And... Dropping down, both hands up again. Bring your left elbow behind if you can. Grab and pull it. And inhale. And exhale, switching arms. Good. 
and release. All right, let's end with our orchestral musician breathing. So bring your knees, bring your feet back, drop your knees. I was in orchestra for a long time. Okay, hands on your stomach. You're going to drop your jaw, breathe in, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one, inhale, hold, and relax. All right, chair workout complete. Nice job, everybody. Go ahead and congratulate yourselves. You can find this workout on YouTube or in our class catalog. I'll put the link below. If you're doing this live with me, we're, please stay for the standing portion. If you're doing this on YouTube, I encourage you to try the standing workout, back workout as well. Okay, folks, so thank you so much. I'm Coach Russo. These will be forever. Peace. All right, YouTube fam, ditch the chair. I hear like a weird beeping noise in the back. I think I, oh man, I'm, hold on just one sec. Got to make sure this is. All right. It's not, it's not, it's outside. Woo. -hoo. All right. Here we go. Let me do the autofocus thing again. Get out of the way. Dun, 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 dun. All right. You guys ready for standing? Let's go. All right. And sorry. Does it look good? All right, it's slightly off center. All right, folks, here we go. You know, I'd always want to be on time. Okay. All right. <laughs> here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. And three, two, and hey, Fit Fam Coach Russo here. This is standing back workout strength exercise for seniors. If you did the chair portion before, boom, good for you. We're going to do standing. So let's go ahead. We're going to stand and we're not going to do a posture check because our posture is nice right now. How do you know? One easy step, right? Ears behind the shoulders. My weight's on my heels. That's all one step. One easy step. Ears behind my shoulders. Weight's on my heels. I'm not leaning back. Okay. Weight's on the shoulders. Woo. I feel that nice tall lift and squeeze. Good. And relax. Okay. Shake it out. Keep your nice tall posture. Arms out. Let's do shoulder circles forwards. Folks, you need dumbbells for this workout. I highly, highly, highly recommend that you get them. If you don't have them, I mean, some of the things are going to be a mystery, but you still can do it without weights. Okay. Shoulder circles. What am I not doing with my shoulders? Elevating them, right? Keep your shoulders down. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Breathe, breathe, breathe. There is a water break in this workout. You're lucky. Okay. Calm down <laughs> and relax. Shake it out. All right. So from here, we're going to fan up and down and up and down and up. And down and up. I consider this class intermediate and down and up and down and up and down and up and shake it out. Okay. Let's do our standing cobra. Nice tall posture, right? Ears behind the shoulders, weights on the heels. Hands, inhale. As you exhale, rotate your arms forward, squeezing your shoulder blades together. Once your shoulder blades are together, lock your elbows out. Flex everything's in and tight, in and tight, in and tight and release. Okay, now we're going to take this out. My hands are out to the sides. I'm going to take my thumbs. I'm going to turn them to the back. It's the same movement, right? But my arms are in a different position. So I'm going to inhale. Exhale, nice and tall. Squeeze my shoulder blades together. Once my shoulder blades are together, drive my hands to the back and hold to isometric tension. Squeeze, 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 squeeze. Do not put your hands down. We're coming up. This looks like a Y. We're going to do the same movement. So I'm here. Nice, tall posture. Inhale. Exhale, squeezing shoulder blades together. Once my shoulder blades are together, driving my hands behind me, squeezing everything in and tight, in and tight. Don't put your hands down. Bring them almost together for like a pencil, right? I'm here, standing, nice tall lift, core in. Inhale, exhale, squeeze your shoulder blades together. Drive your hands to the back of the room. Squeeze, 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 and release and look all cool. Nice. You might have felt that in your upper back. It's not wrong, but it's okay. Okay, so let's go ahead and grab your dumbbells. How you pick them up. If you guys watched Bend and Twist, right? But I'm not going to bend and twist. I'm going to square my feet. I'm going to grab the dumbbells. Boom, okay? Standing gives us several different options for training our back, okay? The first one, you guys are going to love it, okay? It's a ski jumper. So I'm here from the side. Inhale, exhale, close the car door behind me with my butt, right? Gently bend the knees, slide the weights down my legs. Now, if this was a leg workout, what we do is we'd come up. So let's do that. Drive the hips. Boom, driving through. 
It's not a leg workout. Close the door coming down, shaving the legs with the weights. Okay, heads down, relax. Now take your weights, turn them. So you're parallel with your feet, thumbs are facing forward. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring the weights up and I want the, my weights to go all the way up until they touch my shirt almost, right? And down and up. This is called a bent over row and down. If you did the chair workout, we were coming back, right? Not this workout, my elbows are staying high, boom, and down, but they're not coming to my shoulders and down. Okay, keep working. If you feel it in your lower back, just come up a little bit or squeeze your abs harder. Now, since you guys are awesome, I'm going to add an element here. Okay, hang the bottom, keep your back straight, let your arms sink lower. You see how subtle that is? Let my arms sink lower. Right? That's full protraction. From here, I'm going to row up, squeezing my shoulder blades back down, full release. Up, back down, full release. Up, back down. Come on, folks, one more. And down, and up down, full release, standing up nice and tall. That guy in your lower back, that's okay. Hold on to the dumbbells, okay? Now, this is a pure upright row. Now, first of all, all right, let's just do this. Put the weights down. I want you guys to try this without your without the weights first, okay? Here, because it is somewhat advanced. So my hands are together, got my air dumbbells. I'm gonna pull my elbows up high like this and down, okay? My elbows come up and down. What are my hands doing? They're separating, okay? It's not this. I don't like that one. Boom, and down. And my elbows are actually traveling slightly back and down. Okay, you guys feel comfortable doing that? Go ahead, bend the knees, grab the weights. Everything is slow, okay? So you're standing nice and tall, and come up, and down. Relax your neck, lift your ribs, stomach in. Okay, now everyone go at your own pace. I like to go nice and slow. What I'm checking for Mm, ears behind the shoulders, weights on the heels. Nice. Everyone relax, bringing the weights up and down, up and down, up and down, up and down. Last one, hold for five seconds. Five, four, three, two, one, and release. And fold the weights, bring the weights down. You're like, I thought it was a back workout. Well, the back of your shoulders <laughs> is your back, okay? I'm going to show you guys a little bit advanced, okay? This is an intermediate class. So we're going to be standing nice and tall. I'm going to take my thumbs. I'm going to put them right here at the bottom of my rib cage. Find those little baby ribs. Ow, ow, ow. Okay? What I'm going to do, right, is I want to bring my elbows down towards my hips. Bring my elbows down towards my hips, and I want to flex those muscles in my back. Okay? And release this King Cobra right here. Hold, thumbs at the waist, bring my elbows down, flex. How do you know you're doing it right? I can literally feel where my thumbs are. Pulling my elbows down and release. Here, ready? Pulling my elbows down and release. Like I'm having a hard time doing it on my left, so I'm gonna focus on the left and release and release and release. Okay, folks, go ahead, pause the video right here and get water. If you're doing it live, go ahead and get some water. I'm going to change the camera over. Yeah, you didn't think there were so many different exercises standing up. I know. All right. Today's water break brought to you by water. <laughs> I say that as a joke. Maybe one day we'll get sponsored. Who knows? All right. The camera seems to be holding. I'm using the beast jug today. Ah, <sighs> Relax. Relax. So on the floor, we will not be getting water to give you guys the, uh, the uh, full rundown. Okay. Um, so this, so work with me here on the sketch. Okay. I realize you guys are going to do all the classes. You can't do all of them without a water break. So this, the standing class will be a little shorter. Technically, uh, you guys are awesome. Go get the new catalog, by the way. Got some good reviews so far. I like that. I'm trying to help. All right. Take it out. Woo, woo, woo. All right. Let's run it back. You ready? And three. Two, and all right, we're back from the water break. You guys missed it if you weren't live. So here we are, nice and tall. We got the shoulders. We got the back. What have we not done on the back? Well, there's these cool little muscles down your sides right here called your, there's your straightest and your intercostals. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our hands, and I'm going to come in, and I'm going to squeeze my, not squeeze, squeeze my wrist, not my hands, my wrist into my sides. 
and I'm going to squeeze for five seconds as hard as I can. Ready? And release. Most common mistake. It's not a bodybuilding pose. Okay. Nice tall posture. Here's behind weights on the heels, squeezing in and squeezing all the muscles. Squeeze, squeeze, and release. See how relaxed my head is, right? Inhale, exhale. Good here. Squeeze, 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 and release. Okay. One more right here. Ready? And squeeze, 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 and release. Good. Okay. We're going to go ahead and work some things with the dumbbells. Similar movements that we were doing before, but this is called piston. Okay. So we're here folding, bending at the waist, pick up the dumbbells. That's part of the workout. Okay. I'm going to turn to the sides. Right. Posture check. Inhale. Exhale. Stomach's in. Close the door. Shave the legs. Turn the weight so they're parallel with your feet. Thumbs face forward. Now we're going to go left. Right. Left. What's my, what are my hands doing? One's going all the way down before the other one's coming up. Okay. This is not a piston. This is called alternating for all my exercise science nerds. And now we're going to do reciprocating. Same time. Same time. Good. Don't let the weights go far out in front of you. Keep them low. Keep working those shoulders. Let's go 10 seconds. Three. Two, one, hold them both, push tips forward, stand up. Very nice. <laughs> I like calling this one the lawnmower. So it's the upright row. We're going to do one arm at a time, okay? Now, before we reciprocate, let's alternate. So left, right, left, right, right. It's like a lawnmower. <laughs> up and down and up and down. Good. Breathe and work and breathe and work. Here we go. Reciprocating. Boom. Boom, boom, boom. Nice tall posture. Chest up. Relax your neck. Ears behind the shoulders. Yeah, you can do it all. Don't worry about it. Three, two, one, and release. Nice. All right, this one's coming from you live from the chair workout. Very similar, slightly different standing up, okay? So thumbs are facing forward, right? I'm going to take the weights. Turn my palms now are facing forward. Now, since we're standing, when I turn... To get the back of my hands facing forward, externally rotated, what I can actually do is I can aid my arms by pushing my hips forward and slightly leaning back, okay? People think that's bad mechanics. Not necessarily true, okay? Coming forward. Now we're going to go from here. I'm not going to do the internal rotation. So I'm coming back, right? I'm coming back, and right when I get here, I'm going to aid the twist by leaning back in the back of the fingers forward. Oh, you guys feel that one? And release. Okay, last one right here. Inhale, turn. Turn, turn, and release. Good. Okay, we're going to put the dumbbells down. We're done with the dumbbells. Okay, folks, this one, this is high-level stuff, okay? So I want you guys to pay attention. So here, neutral stance, left, sorry, right, left. I'm in, I'm in, I'm in straddle, okay? Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to toe side pivot on my left, reach out with my right. Now I'm going to pull this arm back. See how my hip rotates? Boom, and through. Rotate and through. See how my hip is moving just a little bit? That's what I guys want you to do. Boom. Now, if you're more advanced, you can follow the hand with your eyes. If that makes you dizzy, you can just look straight forward. But make sure the hip is rolling. Boom. Now, the A-plus students, shoulder blade. Right? Back. Shoulder blade. Back. And as you feel comfortable, you can speed it up. Speed it up. Speed it up. Speed it up. Three, two, and one. Good. Relax. Shake it out. Okay. Let's review. Neutral stance. Right. Left. Toe side pivot on the right. Reaching out. Okay. Nice full extension. Relax. And now notice the hip. Boom. Boom. You feel how this is part of the balance? Boom. 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 Boom, good. It's called a rotation row. Boom, boom, three, two, and one. Good, nice breath, breath in. Let's do our closing breaths right now. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, 
Exhale, dive into the pool, rolling down. Nice job today, folks. I hope you stick around for the floor work. If you're on YouTube, just go ahead and click the next video on floor. Okay, roll up nice and slow. And workout complete. That's standing back workout. Nice job, everybody. Go ahead, grab the course catalog. It's got all the workouts. We'll be uploading these ones as well. If you're doing this on YouTube and it's recorded, you can do the floor exercise by YouTube Live Fam. Stay tuned, okay? So hope you enjoyed that, and I'll see you next time. I'm Coach Russo, and this is You'll Be Fit Forever. Peace. <laughs> now you guys know my life. All right, 929. We got one minute. All right, let me reset the camera. Go ahead, get some more. Oh, we could do the water breaks in between the videos. Oh. I changed the format. It's my first week with a new format. <laughs> you guys are like, wow, I'm tired. Nah, you're not tired. Okay. So we're going to start standing up. I'm going to break you guys how to get down on the floor, okay? I'm going to say that in the intro anyways. And three, two, and... Hey, FitFam, Coach Russo here. This is back workout on the floor, advanced. If you've done the chair back workout and the standing workout, and now you're doing this, you are amazing. So it's a floor workout. Let's go ahead and get on the floor. So I'm here. Bend my knees, rolling down. Get your weight into your hands as quickly as possible. Flex the hands, wrist, knees, 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 boom. This is called crawl. We are going to be doing crawl. So if this bothers your knees, mentally prepare yourself to roll up your mat or to get on your bed, <laughs> okay? So from here, sorry, let me bring this through. Bring your left hand to your right hand. It's like twister. Bring your left knee to your left knee. Roll. This is called model. Look like a model. And then from model, I'm going to go ahead and turn my hips. See that? Turn my hips and roll onto my back, okay? Go ahead, grab both knees, pull them to the chest. Nice deep breath in. And exhale. Good. You're going to need the weights here in a second, folks, so don't think I forgot them, okay? But what we're going to do here is I want you guys to Pilates bridge. Tuck your hips. Squeeze your glutes. Tuck and peel your hips up. This is not an athletic bridge. I'm tucked underneath, okay? Now, what this allows me to do is I have a nice, nice flat lower back, and I'm going to take my hands, and I'm going to raise them up, okay, to the ceiling. And then I want to go all the way overhead. Hopefully, you didn't put a chair right behind you. Okay, I'm going to hold, Okay. Now, I want your shoulders up by your ears, because since we're on the floor, we can do that. Shoulders up by your ears. Squeeze your knees together, keeping your hips tucked, okay? Now, what I'm going to do, this is advanced stuff. I told you it's an advanced class. I want you to feel like you're pulling your hips towards your feet, right? So I want to feel like you're pulling your hips towards your feet. And I'm squeezing my glutes, right? Now. Pull your hips towards your feet. Shrug your arms away from you for the William Wallace getting stretched apart. And release. It's like a forehand massage. Someone pulling your feet. Someone pull your hands. Okay? Squeeze the knees. I was going to reset, but now nah, we're too good. Tuck. Drive the hips towards the heels. Pulling your hips down. Shrugging your ears up. And relax. Okay? Now from here, take our elbows. Static back posture. You guys, I'm going to scoop. Okay. Here a little bit. All right. So from here, next relax. Tuck, suck in. Squeeze the glutes gently. Take your elbows. Push them into the floor. Push them into the floor hard, hard, good, and release. Okay. Inhale. Exhale. Push your elbows into the floor. Push, 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 and release. Now, if you have neck problems, continue to do this one or go back and do the chair workout or floor workout. But if you don't, what you're going to do is you're going to push your elbows in. You're going to drive your elbows in to elevate into a crunch and back down. Okay, even coach made the mistake of tensing his neck. Inhale, tuck, suck, and squeeze. Drive the elbows, crunching up. How I relax my neck, I'm looking at the ceiling. I'm not looking forward, right? Use your elbows, drive higher. Oh, and down. Don't tell me you can't do it, folks. Yes, you can. Inhale. Exhale. Press the elbows in. Right? Crunch up. Relax neck. Use the elbows to go higher. And release. Nice. Okay, now watch my hands. My elbows stay at 90 degrees. They're going to come this way. It's like I'm punching the floor. You guys see that? Punching the floor. Good. And I'm punching the floor. Good. Now, from punching the floor, I want you to drive your wrists or your wrist, your knuckles into the into the into the what's it called? A floor. Now, if that bothers you, you can go flat wrist or fingers out flat wrist. I find that to be more uncomfortable. So I'm here driving and release. 
I'm driving and release. Now, you guys are going to love this one. Advanced class. Driving my hips in. Tack bend. No, we're not doing back bends. Okay. And coming down. Relax everything. I want everyone to do a zombie sit-up. So, legs out straight. Option one, arms overhead. Everyone do option one with me. Option one, swing your arms. Sit up. Wah! Touch the toes if you can. Okay. Rolling down super slow. Option two, try option two if you can't do it, option one. Fingers to the ceiling. My fingers stay towards the ceiling the entire time and sit up. Wah! Okay. And rolling down. Last one, super advanced. All right. I want everyone to try this. Hands at the sides from here. I'm going to crunch up, no momentum. Good. And release. Okay. Now, floor from here. Roll the belly button forward. Nice tall posture. Oh my God. That's a stretch. Rolling forward, rolling forward. Oh, everyone, bring your hands behind you. Bring your other hand behind you. Roll the shoulders back. Press your shoulders down, lifting high. You see that? Rolling, pressing high. Okay. Now, shoulder blades together, pulling back. I'm going to lift my left foot up and down, right foot up and down, both feet up. Oh, okay, maybe not. <laughs> okay, bend the knees, right? From here, tuck your hips, shoulder blades down. It's a back workout, right? Back workout, driving, lift the hips up for crab, 10 seconds. If you're really feeling good, oh, add a leg. And release. Nice job, everybody. Okay, go ahead. Grab your dumbbells. Beautiful. Ooh, you, well, I said it was advanced workout. Come on. All right, so let's go ahead. Let's run through our basic back stuff first, and then we're going to get into the mysteries of the unknown. Okay, so from here, look, I'm rolling into model. Rolling on the back. Okay? So if you've been with me for a while, you're going to know this. It's review, but if not, you have to learn a very powerful movement for your back. Arms are up. Okay, neutral position. I'm going to take my shoulders. I'm going to pull them down away from my ears, and I'm feeling this muscle underneath my armpit. Okay, relax. Shoulders away from the ears, right? It's like I'm putting my shoulder on a plate. It's called plating, plate. Now, I maintain that plate as the weights go overhead. Don't shrug your shoulders up. Down, 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 down. I want you to hold this for five seconds. Think about at the beginning of the workout when I had your shoulders up by your ears. They're not up by your ears. They are down and away and back up. Oh, yeah. Inhale. Exhale. Plate and pulling down. Oh, you like this one. Hold. Good. And back up. Come on, folks. Age is just a number. Plating. Coming overhead. I want everyone to hold that. Take your left leg out. Squeeze your core. Bring them up and together. One more set. Relax your neck. You don't need it. Inhale. All right? Plate. Weights go overhead. Hold. Right leg out straight. Lock. Oh, my goodness. Coming back. And recover. Okay, now you're going to take the weights. Remember the punching the floor behind you? I want you to punch the floor behind you. Pull over. Punch the floor behind you, pull over. Now, since this is advanced class, I want everyone to pause quick. 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 Now, whack. if you got speed, go ahead and use it. <laughs> okay, and hold. Okay, push your elbows into the floor. Good. Now we're here, arms straight, turn the weights. Punch the ceiling and down. Punch the ceiling and down. Punch the ceiling. Squeeze the weights together. Down separates the weight. Punch the ceiling. Squeeze the weights together. Separate the weights and down. Punch the ceiling. Squeeze. <laughs> Sorry. I know you guys don't like it. I repeat myself. And down. Okay. From here, punch the ceiling plate. Oh, yeah. And down. Punch the ceiling and plate. And release. Okay, you guys remember those sit-ups? No, not with the weights, coach. Absolutely with the weights. Here you go. Ready? And sit up. Boom. And relax back down. Let me just check the microphone. All right, you guys are awesome. Okay, so now from this is called the L. All right, so I'm in L. Okay, so... 
from here, it looks like an L for all my teachers. <laughs> Roll the hips forward, nice tall posture. This one is like on the chair, you've done the chair workout, but I'm gonna come here, my elbows are gonna go and back. It's not a big range of motion, okay? Sorry, I'm having mic troubles. Okay, so from here, pulling back, pulling back, all right? Back, now I'm gonna grab the weights, back. Back. Now, if you're an advanced practitioner, as your weights go back, your chest does what? Forwards. Forwards. Remember when I said this workout would include stretching? Yeah, we're doing it. Forwards. 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 You guys got it. Come on, pump. 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 Okay? Hold. Kick the arms back. Oh, no. Kick back's an L. Oh, yeah. Relax your neck. Shoulders back. Chest forward. Five. Four. Three, two, and one. Oh, my goodness. Everyone reach for the toes. <laughs> Woo. All right. You ready? Now, this is a little fun one. Take your right leg, cross it over. You see that? Cross it over. Now, turn. Get your hand down. Come all the way through. Ha <laughs> ha. You guys did it. Okay. So, we're on our knees. Go ahead and roll up your mat if you need to. If you don't need to, hit a quick child's pose. Inhale. Come on, folks. Let's finish this workout strong, okay? Now we're here. I'm in quadruped, okay? Hands and knees. What I'm going to do is I'm going to grab the weights. I got a couple of different options here. I'm going to show you my preferred option is I'm just going to have the weights in my hands, and I'm going to row and row, and I'm alternating arms. If that bothers you, have one hand down, right, and then switch your hands and then switch your hands, okay? All right? I like to have my hands on the weights. It's easier on my wrists for me. Hand down. Good. Don't even think about stopping, folks. We're going to do about a bazillion of these, okay? Now, let's have some fun. I'm going to take my right leg. I'm going to kick it out. I'm going to take my left arm, bird dog rows. I'm counting for some reason. Four, five. See my toe? Flex. Good. Breathe. Switch legs. Your knees are fine. Pull. Good. This is called a bird dog grow. Good. Keep working those back muscles. Squeeze. Now what we're going to do is we're going to kick our leg out row same time. So left arm, right leg, kick. Same side. Same side. Same side. Pull. Boom, boom, and switch, boom, 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 oh, sorry, woo, keep focus, we're almost done, all right, good, now we're going to alternate, left, right, left, right, left, right, left, that's one, right, and recover. Woo! Am I being dramatic? I think not. Okay, the last one's a fun one, folks. Well, yeah, I want you guys, I want everyone to try this, okay? This is the reciprocating bird dog row. So I'm going to have my right leg out, okay? Left arm, we just did a bazillion times. Right arm's a little tricky. Left arm's easy. Right arm's tricky. Woo! You see that? Left arm, right. Right arm, good. How do you recover? Look how I'm leaning, right? Get a little lean. But don't... Do this weird thing. Boom. Woo. Boom. Woo. Boom. Woo. Okay, relax. Good. Who else does these workouts, folks? Come on. You guys get the best stuff. Here you go. Left leg out. Right arm's easy. Left arm's hard. Right arm's easy. Left arm's hard. This is the last exercise. Come on, folks. And back and down and back and down and back. Come on. Three. Two and one. Wow, nice job. Go ahead, put your dumbbells to the side. <sighs> All right, we're going to roll onto our backs here. We're going to do our breathing exercises, folks, okay? I want to do them on the floor today because it's a little bit advantageous for learning how to use your belly, okay? So take both hands, put them on your stomach. When you inhale, your stomach is going to expand, pushing your hands towards the ceiling. So just try that. Inhale. 
Exhale. Inhale. Stomach expands towards the ceiling. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now I want you to try the opposite. So inhale. Now when you exhale, you're going to contract, bring your stomach in, and pull, pull it in towards the floor. And relax. Breathe in. Exhale. Stomach in. Good. Now we're doing them together. Inhale, stomach expands. Exhale, stomach contracts. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now just go at your own pace. Close your eyes. Breathing, relaxing. Let your body relax as much as possible. And I want you to ask yourself this question. What is it that I want to do that I can't or I'm having problems doing? What is it I want to do that I either can't or having problems doing? Now imagine yourself being able to do those things, right? Whatever it was, you're being able to do it again or you're being able to do it well. That's the power of exercise, folks. Physical strength is mental strength, is the ability to do new things. That's the whole point. That's what's the point of being fit if you can't enjoy it. All right, with that, shake your body, get ready. We're going to sit up nice and slow. Turn, sitting up nice and slow. And give yourselves a round of applause. Workout complete. So that's floor workouts, very advanced stuff. Hope you guys enjoyed that. If you're doing this live on YouTube and you did all the classes, congratulations. You're amazing. All right. If not, you're doing the recordings, go back. Maybe try the chair, try the standing one, try a different one. And as I've said before, the course catalog is now here. People are, people are enjoying it. It's a lot easier to find all the workouts. I'm going to be slowly uploading those. Okay. Last order of business. Three steps to a healthy body weight. It's going to be our full personal training course that you guys are going to be able how to achieve a healthy body weight and sustain that, which leads to successful aging, right? The three steps are designed so you guys can do it yourself and you can do it consistently and you can do it forever, okay? So if you ever have any questions, Facebook, you can leave comments here on YouTube, find me on Instagram, okay? Appreciate you guys. We'll be here next week, 9 o'clock Pacific time on Thursday. Okay. So with that I'm Coach Russo and this you'll be fit forever. Peace. Hey, we finished early. Woo. I don't know about you guys. That was bomb. <laughs> um, okay. So the, 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 this, uh, successful, the healthy, the aging course, I'm not going to brag, but I, I'm, I'm liking what I'm doing here. I think this is it in terms of the diet and stuff. Just, you know, it's simple. It works. A lot of things you guys can do. I really believe in that. I like this new format. Uh, it's going to be just more accessible for more people if you guys did everything. Um, the scheduling, I got to work on a little bit. Um, you guys know I'm a stickler for time. But other than that, next week is yoga for seniors. Now, first of all, I'm going to tell you guys, you don't have to be a yoga instructor to teach yoga in the state of California, right? I did yoga for five years, did my bazillion hours, teacher trainings, all of the above. I never actually got the certification. Why? Because I don't think that uh, it was worth it or important. However, when we do yoga, I'm using that as a word. I don't mean that you're going to do things that you're used to, okay? It's going to be um, Coach Russo style. So it's going to be very, 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 very different. So, you know, I, I use the word yoga because I want people to assume a certain thing and I want to get them in the door and then the experience is going to be very different. You're still going to do breathing. You're still going to do, you know, poses. We're still going to be doing holding, but we're going to be exploring a whole different side of the mentality towards exercise and mentality towards aging, uh, essentially trying to build strength from the inside out, sort of the way yoga historically was taught before it got really popular. Um, and that's a challenge for me. I'm getting out of my comfort zone. I want to add some of the, the mental wellness stuff because I realize like it, there's no point in being in shape if you're unhappy. Uh, been there. Not good. So that's what we're going to expect with yoga. It's going to be a workout. So don't like, I know how yellow shirt kind of got soft for a while where it was really easy. It's not going to be that easy. It's going to be more like today. I'm going to challenge you guys to do some pretty amazing stuff. Um, so 
That's it. I will say I'm not always going to do chair standing floor. I'm definitely going to always do chair, um, but I might do standing advanced. It's always going to be beginner, intermediate, advanced, but I'm thinking I might change it up. Maybe we'll do intermediate on the floor and stuff. Um, just talking out loud. Okay, you guys are awesome. Thank you so much. We'll be back here next week, okay? Take care. Peace.